Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be 10 ideas that I think would make Diablo 3 a better game. If you have any that I don't cover, feel free to drop it down in the comments, or if you have any that you disagree with, I'd love to hear what you have to say, so let's get into it. So first off, I just want to say these aren't in any particular order or anything. I'm just going to kind of list them off in the order I wrote them down and thought of them. Um, but the first one is uber portals giving us some sort of indicator on which ones we've killed the bosses and which ones we haven't every uber game i've ever done usually there's someone who oh crap i clicked on the wrong portal we've already done that one so either just you know change the color of the portal make it green or something if it's been cleared or give us a little check mark above it you know anything to show us that the bosses have been killed in that portal just to make it that much easier to click on the next one when we're doing ubers the next one is going to be the ability to use Ramaladni gifts on jewelry. You know, we always have, you know, everybody has like 15, 20, 30 of these Ramaladni gifts. Just give us the ability to use them to add sockets to jewelry. That way, you, you know, it would branch out into multiple different options for jewelry. And if you find that piece of jewelry that rolls perfect, you don't have to waste a perfect roll just to roll a socket because a socket is mandatory. Just like in a weapon, a socket is mandatory. So they let us add a socket gift to a weapon. Let us do the same thing for rings and amulets. And then we can stay lower on our Ravalani gifts and actually use them. And it would give us much more options as far as re-rolling jewelry and what to use. And you can even let us use it on helms because helms, a socket is mandatory. And that would help us actually spend these gifts instead of hoarding 20, 30, 40 of them in our stash. Give us the ability to reset a game in game. So like refresh the bounties and all that stuff. Maybe you could like go down to Tyrael and he would have an option right here that says, you know, reset the entire game. This would make it handy if you're in a public game doing bounties and you like the group that you're with. You can all just click Tyrael, reset the game, and start over. Instead of having to leave or invite people to your party and then join another game and open it to public, you could do public bounties and just stay with your group if you like them and just keep going. And if you don't like your group, you can leave and then search for a new public game. So just give us the ability to reset the bounties in-game instead of having to have everybody leave and rejoin and stuff. It would just be a nice little quality of life change. In the Paragon tab, switch gold find to pickup radius. I think, you know, there's a few changes that can be made to the Paragon system, but this one is just silly. No one cares about this 50% gold find at all. So change this to pickup radius in the utility tab. You could do it like two yards per 10 points. So when you max this out, you get 10 yards of pickup radius. That way, if you don't want it, you can leave it blank. If you do want it, you can add the pickup radius, and that would be really handy for farming. And I don't really see a downside to doing that. A lot of people complain that Paragon points are a little bit too powerful, and they hate the Paragon grind of having to get to 3,000 Paragon to compete. So maybe to alleviate the stress of that without completely removing the Paragon grind for the people who like that, when you get past... 800 instead of getting five main stat per paragon point just bump it down to three that way it's still important but it's a lot less important so it's it it, it short it shortens the gap of somebody who's a thousand paragon and somebody who's 1500 paragon like the 1500 paragon person still has an advantage for their time of in, of investing to get that experience but it's not as dramatic of a of an advantage so i think it would kind of be best of both worlds to make it less of an advantage but still have it be there for the people who want to grind those paragons a town punching bag or something to attack so that you could test your builds i think would be a great addition to the game like you could have it in a room you know you come up here enter this room and you know up here there's a there's a big like fake rift guardian so you can sit here and attack the Rift Guardian and, and see how much damage you do. Or you could have the room like branch out into separate rooms where you have like clusters of punching bags. So you could test like your area damage and stuff. You know, I don't know how realistic this one is, but I think it'd be cool to have a little like training room where you can just go and like test your build and test the damage numbers you're doing so that you can see exactly what your build is doing without having to, you know, leave town or on hardcore, you know, go risk your character. And it would be good for content providers to, you know, just come up and be like, hey, this is what this build does. You can see all the damage numbers here and just have a 
punching dummy that you can attack constantly and see what those numbers are in a controlled environment. A damage history where you could look to see like how much you're hitting for while you're in town. So let's say you clear a rift, you're in town, you could just click under, you know, under the offense tab, there would be a little, you know, button here, click, you know, damage history. You click that, it brings up another tab over here that shows like your last hundred attacks. And you can see the numbers of what you hit for so that you can kind of keep track of how much you're improving and what you're hitting mobs for. And, you know, you would have that information available to you in town without having to sit here and stare at your screen and try to keep track of what you're hitting mobs for. Just have it in a nice text layout for you right there in town. Let us salvage Gloves of Worship in the cube to spawn a Goblin Shrine. I always thought it was a really cool mechanic that you can come down to the cube with a puzzle ring and you know, salvage it and it spawns a Goblin Rift. I always thought that was a really cool idea. You know, give us more stuff like that. You know, you come down to the cube, pop in your Gloves of Worship, transmute, and it spawns you in like a room that has a Goblin Shrine in it. So you can spawn a bunch of Goblins. I mean, Gloves of Worship are semi-rare. You have to clear a bounty game and get them to drop out of an Act 2 cache. So, you know, why not give us more items like that that are cool that we can kind of save up and use to farm. A solo mode for bounties because not everybody has a group of four people. They can constantly count on to farm bounties. And some people don't like playing public games. You know, some people just like playing the game solo. And they're already punished enough in the experience department of things. So, you know, I think it's really hard for one person to clear an entire game of bounties. So I think, you know, under Tyrael, you should be able to go to him and, you know, choose solo. You know, give me solo bounties. You know, I don't know how realistic to word that or whatever, but just an option here where you're going to close off your game so that you can't abuse it. You can't pick solo and then invite a bunch of friends. So it closes off your game and only you can be in it. But then you only have to uh, clear two bounties per act. So you would still have to clear 10 bounties. So it would still be more efficient to group up because in a group, there's 25 bounties, four players. Each person is doing about six or seven bounties. So being solo, you would do 10. So it would still be more beneficial to group up. But it wouldn't be so devastating, you know, one person having to do 25 bounties. It'd be more realistic for a solo player to be able to do 10 bounties instead of 25. I think that'd be a good option for people to have a choice if they want to, you know, play solo instead of getting screwed over and having to do 25 bounties. There needs to be a difficulties overhaul in this game. There's way too many difficulties and they really need to condense this down and make it simpler and easier for everybody to understand and kind of navigate. Just take it back to the roots. Make it normal, nightmare, hell, inferno, and then go T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6. Ten difficulties. That's all you need. You don't need whatever they have now, you know, 19, 18, however many there is. Condense it down a little bit. Make it simpler. Just have the ten difficulties and plus, when you have so many difficulties, you segment your player base more, you know. You have some people in T5, you have some public games in T8, some public games in T10. And I know later on in the season, you know, most games are all T13. But, you know, just completely overhaul the the difficulties and maybe make the toughest difficulty a little bit harder than T13 is currently. Because right now, T13 is just a face roll for everybody that's geared anyway. So you make a difficulty that only, you know, the top geared characters can clear efficiently and then scale it down from there to all the way down to normal. So just condense the difficulties a little bit and make this whole page that you have to scroll through a little bit simpler and less cluttered and condensed. Alrighty, that's going to do it for my 10 ideas that I think would make Diablo 3 a better game. There's obviously a lot more that I could try to theorycraft to come up with, but I didn't want to make the video too crazy long. Um, but if you have any ideas, like I said earlier in the video, in the intro, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. Or if you disagree with mine or have any input, I'd love to hear what you have to say. And as always, thanks for watching and have a good day. Peace.